Welcome. The following video or audio are the study of the Bible, chapter by chapter, verse by verse of the King James 1611 Bible. Our family welcomes you to our household Bible ministry time. You may watch and listen with us. Our goal has been from Genesis to the book of Revelation. Each chapter by chapter we try. And topical preaching and teaching aids you can find by searching different topics. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. Come and appreciate the word of God for our spiritual growth, our development in the word of God by these lessons. Please feel, feel, please feel welcome to upload and share our Bible study with family and friends. Like us, subscribe, write a comment, let us know you heard the message. The video or audio are not copyrighted and should be used and not abused. Thank you. Philippians chapter 3. Finally, my brethren, talking to saved people, the church, rejoice in the Lord. There you go. All the suffering. He concludes his message. Rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you, to me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of conscience. Now that dogs, run that over, I forget what you did, but Peter speaks about unclean dogs. They're deceivers as they return to their own vomit. Dogs don't have a good condemnation in the Bible. They're considered the, the Gentiles. Uh, he calls a woman a dog. And then, like I said, Peter has them as false doctrine, false uh, deceivers. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit. We're Gentiles. We're not circumcised. There it is again. We're saved. We're in God. And we're not circumcised. No law. It's amazing how, that, how many times that shows up in the Bible. Which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Jesus in Christ Jesus. So there's God. There's a spirit in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. No fleshly worship. No relying on yourself. No relying on any other man. No relying on the government. It's God. It's Jesus Christ. It's the Holy Spirit. That is our, our big bank. That's our resources. That's who we turn to. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh. If any other man thinketh that he has where it, whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. All right, Paul's going to do a little bragging here, but it's not going to be long, and it's not going to be full bragging. He said, anybody's got confidence in the flesh, watch this. Circumcised the eighth day, as a Jew was to be. So obey the law. Of the stock of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, that's one of the 12 tribes, man, he's got the pedigree. And Hebrew of Hebrews, not just in Hebrew, but a Hebrew. As touching the law, all right, the law, a Pharisee. Those were the, the, the religious, they were exact. Man, the Bible says, Jesus said they, they, they would tie the, the, the mint and the anise to the, to, the, to the tents. Make sure they get it right. Concerning zeal persecuting the church that was the law you know if any jew were to go and preach any other god but jehovah the bible says you're to stone him so paul and with the law man he thought he was doing right he thought man god's going to be happy with me god's going to love me because i am doing the law as a pharisee as a hebrew of hebrews as a benjamin of abraham isaac and jacob man look at my pedigree look what i'm doing Touching the righteous, which is in the law. You know, Paul just said that. He said, when it came to the law, I was righteous. Blameless. You know, it's funny. And when you read a statement like that, and you read the young, rich man that came to Jesus. And Jesus gave him some commandments. He said, listen, all these I follow from my, from my youth up. And Jesus did not rebuke him. He said, listen, all right, go sell all that you'll have. There are some people who think that that young man and this man here we're reading about are the same. Paul. Oh, could be. Could be. 
that would wouldn't that then give him the titleship of being a, of apostle where he was with Jesus during the ministry? So, but oh, here comes a but. You gonna trust the flesh? Look at me, guys. You realize if we were under the law, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna get go into great deal. My thoughts alone would condemn me. Never mind actions. The things I think of will condemn me. Paul, look. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Verses 4, 5, and 6, forget it. Who cares? It ain't birthright. It ain't blue blood. It ain't the law. It's loss. For Christ. Yet doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. I have the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Who cares about the law now? Jesus came to fulfill the law. And he did fulfill the law. And since he fulfilled the law. If I was born of the right blood. That couldn't be nothing. Because I don't have sinless blood. So see. Of Jesus Christ my Lord. Lord. For when I have suffered the loss of all things, <coughs> the pedigree, the titles, the works, I lost them all. And do count them but dung. Bring that to a modern version Bible. I bet you they don't. I mean, I could think of a modern word that say, has four letters too, you know. But they're not going to bring it up that modern. That I may win Christ. So everything that I am, everything that the law, everything that who I was, what I did, everything like that, it's lost. I put it now. Let us not let's get this. First John one nine. I put it under the blood of Jesus Christ. It's gone. It ain't gonna even show up in the judgment seat of Christ. Paul took all that and put it under the blood of Jesus. If it's a sin. It's under the blood. I am saved because I know Jesus. How's that? Go back to the uh, the uh, the Galatian church when they were relying on, and Paul would have told, them, "Hey, listen, that's all gone. It's all under the blood." And be found in Him, Christ Jesus, not having my own righteousness. We don't have no righteousness, which is of the law, but that which through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. I don't have my righteousness. I have the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And that came by faith. By the word of God. That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. The law never resurrected anybody. They stayed in Abraham's bosom. So if you were in the law. And you died in the law. The best thing you got to do. Is you got to go to a place across from hell. And sleep in Abraham's bosom. Well, what kind of eternity is that? Where Christ came and set us free. And the fellowship of his sufferings. Being made comfortable unto his death. Christ suffered and died for us. That's our comfort. The abuse and the bruising and the brutality that happened to Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53 is our comfort. Isn't that amazing? If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained. Either were already perfect. But I follow after. If that I may apprehend. That for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Everything. Death. Resurrection all relies on Jesus Christ, and even if you're lost, Revelation 20 says, For those that are lost, death and hell will give up the bodies. That's a resurrection. For us that are saved, when the rapture happens, those that have died in Christ are going to be resurrected into the clouds. Those that are alive will never see death, and we'll go on to be with Jesus Christ in glory for all. Life, brethren, save people. I count not myself to apprehend it, but this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind, I 
Don't look back. Don't get involved in your sins that you've done that are already under the blood. Satan will bring up those sins. Hey, that's in the past. The things that we are to remember, the Bible tells us. We're to remember by the Lord's Supper, the life, the death, and the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and he's coming again. We are to remember Bethel. And I mean by Bethel is the place where we got saved. We need to go back to Bethel and remember who we were. But forget those things which are behind. Don't look back. And reaching forth to those things which are before. Go forward. March on. Don't quit. Don't stop. Keep going. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So there are, there is a finish line. That finish line is set by Christ Jesus by God. If you sit down, lay down, you're not finishing your course. You're not finishing your fight. Keep walking. Keep going. And don't turn around. Again, the Galatian church, they turned around went back to the law. That's wrong. Let us therefore as many as be perfect. And again, that's not 100% sinlessness. That's you are striving to do what God wants you to do and you're doing it. In order to be perfect too is you got to put your sins under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be thus minded. And if in anything you be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Right goes. It's the right goal. And if, if, you, if your mind wanders, strays from that, God will reveal to you, hey, by the Holy Spirit, you're doing wrong. You're not doing right. Get back. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. What's that? The Christian walk for Jesus Christ to the glory of God that we learned last night. Remember, when we praise and do by Jesus Christ, that's God's glory. God can use us. Therefore, let us as many as be perfect, uh, be be thus minded, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Brethren, say people, be followers together of me. Look at that. Paul saying, follow me. What I do, you do. Follow the leader. You find somebody who's living right and doing right and doing what the Bible says, get on their tails and follow them. Ask their advice. Don't go up to somebody, even if it's a pastor, a deacon, don't go up to somebody who's not doing right. That's the wrong person to go to. You find that person you know who's loving and serving the Lord, right? And you get on their tail and you seek their advice and you ask them what they do and how they do. But follow me and mark them which walk so as ye have also for an example. Listen, everyone who's right, who's walking right, they're an example. They're how to do. And Paul already gave us a couple names. Timothy, in the last chapter. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Right? These are people who are not walking for Christ. You don't follow these. This is so strong, I am in tears over this statement. There are many people out there who, who, who are walking, and they're walking in the way of Satan. And they've already conquered the Galatian church. Go back and read Galatians, how they pulled them away from what's right. That made Paul weep. All the work that Paul had done, somebody crept in, whose end is destruction. So they're not even saved. If they are saved, they lose it all. There's no reward. There's no crown. Whose God is their belly, feed me. Some religions look after the belly. You got to eat your God. You got to eat the right foods for healthiness. 
and whose glory is their shame. So deceivers will get in return shame for all the world to see at the judgment at the great white throne judgment whose mind earthly things get your mind out of the earth get your mind out of the dirt get your mind out of the gutter get off the world what more thing for a christian to live right than that verse right there For our conversation, again, that's your conduct, that's not your talk, that's the way you're going, that's what you're doing, is in heaven. From whence we, from whence also we look for the Savior, our blessed hope, Titus 2.13, you're supposed to be looking for the Savior. You're supposed to be looking for Jesus, and if you're looking for Jesus, you're going to run that race in your lane to the finish line. Death or rapture, whichever comes first in your life. But the rapture will come. And you will be rewarded if you do right. And while you're running that race, don't have anybody pull you off the sideline. Don't stop at the hot dog stand. Don't stop at the, the burger joint. Run. Keep yourself in fit. The Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall change our vile body. Vile. Stinks. If you don't wash it. It corrupts if it goes in the grave. It breaks. It hurts. It gets sick. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. So if we're going to look like the glorious body of Jesus Christ. We're going to fashion like unto the glorious body. We're going to look like Jesus Christ, according to that verse. You can't get anywhere else out of that. We're going to have the same body that Jesus Christ had, flesh and bone, with no blood. And as that body came out of the grave and appeared before the, the apostles and came before the 400 people that saw him, that's going to be the same body we have. We're going to be able to go through doors without opening them. According to the working... Whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. 1 John 3.21 All life and all that we are are in Jesus Christ. And we got something better at the finish line. What do we got? We got a body that won't burn in hell. We got a body that will not get torment. We have a body that will not suffer eternity. We will get a body like Christ minus the marks. We will get an eternal, everlasting body like Jesus Christ's body. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't quit. Don't fall for scams. 